Walt Disney's The Jungle Book. Many strange tales are told of the jungles in India, but none so strange as the story of a young boy named Mowgli who was raised by wolves. It all began the day Bagheera the panther found a baby boy lying in a basket. Without a mother's care, this man cub will soon perish, Bagheera worried. The panther knew of a wolf family living nearby. Perhaps they would care for the baby. Bagheera brought the basket to the wolf's den. Soon, the pack scampered out, followed by their parents. The mother looked inside the basket. Then, the father stuck his nose in too. He was surprised to see the tiny man cub. The baby laughed and the wolf smiled. The man cub had been accepted. Ten years passed, and Mowgli, the man-cub, grew up happily in the jungle. One day, news spread that Shere Khan, the tiger, had returned. The tiger was a terrible enemy to all humans, including the man-cub. The wolves held a meeting on Council Rock. Bagheera came too and listened from a nearby tree. The wolves agreed that Mowgli was in great danger. Perhaps I can be of help, Bagheera said. I know a man village where Mowgli will be safe. That night, Mowgli found himself on Bagheera's back, moving through the deep, dark jungle. But Mowgli did not want to leave his home. I'm not afraid, he protested. That's enough, said Bagheera, eyeing a tree. We'll spend the night here. Bagheera settled down for the night, while Mowgli sat pouting. Just then, Ka the python spied the little boy. Say now, what have we here? He hissed. Mowgli ignored the pesky python. But Ka had a snaky charm. He lulled Mowgli into a trance. Then Ka coiled his tail around the boy and began to squeeze. Suddenly, Bagheera leapt forward and swatted the snake. Ka's head banged against the tree limb and his tail uncoiled. You have made a very serious and stupid mistake, my friend, said Ka, as he slithered toward Bagheera. Ka began to hypnotize the panther. But the python forgot all about Mowgli, who pushed the snake's long coiled tail out of the tree. Before Ka knew it, he was on the ground.
The next morning, Mowgli heard a loud commotion. It was a herd of huge grey elephants marching in single file. It's a parade! Mowgli shouted as he fell in line beside a baby elephant. A man cub! cried the elephant leader when he spotted Mowgli. I'll have no man cub in my jungle. Bagheera jumped to Mowgli's rescue. I'm taking him to the man village, Bagheera explained. But Mowgli still didn't want to go. I'm staying right here, he shouted as he held onto a sapling. Bagheera grabbed Mowgli's shorts and pulled and pulled, but Mowgli wouldn't budge. That does it, Bagheera cried. From now on, you're on your own, alone. Don't worry about me, answered Mowgli as he stomped off through the trees. Later on, Mowgli heard someone singing. He looked up just in time to see Baloo the bear shuffling out of the brush. Well now, <laughs> What have we here? Baloo chuckled. Go away and leave me alone, Mowgli muttered. That's pretty big talk, little britches, Baloo said. Hey, kid, you need help, and old Baloo's gonna learn you to fight like a bear. He started to dance around like a boxer, and Mowgli followed along. He loved the bear's silly behavior. When Baloo fell to the ground, Mowgli started to tickle him all over. You're all right, kid, the bear laughed. Mowgli wanted to stay with his new pal Baloo. The big bear agreed to teach Mowgli all he knew. The two friends jumped into the river and floated lazily along. Suddenly, a monkey swung down and grabbed Mowgli. Let go of me, he cried. Baloo didn't know what to do. At last, he took a deep breath and hollered, Help! Bagheera heard Baloo's cry and raced through the jungle. What happened? he asked. Baloo explained that Mowgli was gone. Those mangy monkeys carried him off. The panther knew just where to find them, the ancient ruins. Once there, Baloo and Bagheera heard King Louis, the monkey's king, ask Mowgli to teach him the secret of fire. But I don't know how to make fire, Mowgli explained. Fire, Bagheera gasped. He turned to Baloo and whispered, You create a disturbance and I'll rescue Mowgli. While Baloo danced with King Louis, Bagheera crept in. grabbed Mowgli and the pair escaped, with Baloo right behind them.
That night, Bagheera approached Baloo as Mowgli slept. The man cub must go to the man village, Bagheera explained. Sooner or later, Mowgli will meet Shere Khan. Baloo nodded sadly. He knew Bagheera was right. The next morning, Baloo told Mowgli the plan. The man village, Mowgli cried. But you said we were partners. Shocked, Mowgli ran away from Baloo. It wasn't long before Mowgli came face to face with Shere Khan. Could it be possible that you don't know who I am? Asked the fierce tiger. You're Shere Khan, Mowgli replied, but you don't scare me. Just then, Baloo found his little buddy. He grabbed Shere Khan's tail and shouted, Run, Mowgli, run! The tiger roared and flipped Baloo over his head. Suddenly, a bolt of lightning shot through the sky. Crack! A tree burst into flames. Mowgli grabbed a burning branch and tied it to Shere Khan's tail. The terrified tiger took off like a flaming comet. When Mowgli turned around, he noticed his pal lying quietly on the ground, not moving. Baloo, get up, he pleaded. But Baloo just lay there. You've got to be brave like Baloo was, Bagheera said softly behind Mowgli. Moments later, Baloo sat up. He was okay. Mowgli threw his arms around the bear's thick furry neck. Their journey was not over yet, though. Soon, Bagheera, Baloo, and Mowgli approached a river's edge. From high in a branch, Mowgli saw a girl filling a jug. Suddenly, the branch gave way. Splash! Mowgli fell right in front of the girl. She smiled. Mowgli smiled back and began to follow her to the man village. Though Baloo and Bagheera were sad, they knew it was for the best. Mowgli is where he belongs now, sighed Bagheera. And with that, the new friends turned and headed back into the jungle. The end. Walt Disney's The Jungle Book. Don't go without clicking on our Smart Apps for Kids links for great reviews, free apps every single day and the best giveaways.